Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you Adobe Camera Raw in Photoshop. Now if you've used the tools in Lightroom before and you like them, you might be surprised to know you can get access to all of the same exact tools in Photoshop. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump in. So here's our image for today. We've got our subject staring out the window, but we've got a problem here. Look how underexposed all of this area is. I really can't see almost any detail in a lot of this photo. So the first thing we want to do is to click on our background layer and you can see on the right hand side, there's a little lock there. This always comes standard with Photoshop files. So just double click right there and that's going to turn this into a regular layer. Now that it's a layer, we're going to make this a smart object. What that's going to allow us to do is undo these changes at any time. So super important, just right click here and scroll all the way down to where it says convert to smart object. And then you're going to see this little smart object icon. By the way, if you want to follow along, you can download this sample image and PST on flurn.com totally free. Just follow the link right down below. So how do we get into our Lightroom tools within Photoshop? It's actually just called Adobe Camera Raw, and it's the software that powers both Lightroom and parts of Photoshop. So back here in Photoshop, all we have to do now is go up to Filter, and then down here where it says Camera Raw Filter. It's gonna open up a totally new dialog box. So let's go ahead and zoom into our image there. And if you're a Lightroom user, this should probably look pretty familiar. I have access to literally all of the same exact tools that I do in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and start editing our image. We're just going to bring up our shadow exposure a little bit. I need some detail here. Look at that. Already you can start to see some detail. In fact, I want to bring my exposure up so I can see even more of that detail. That's looking pretty good. But now the highlights are just a little bit too bright. We're going to go ahead and take those and bring those back down again. All right, this is looking fantastic. Let's go ahead and bring our vibrance down just a little bit lower. Okay. Now, because this was shot so underexposed, look at all this detail. Like literally we didn't see any of this before. This was shot relatively underexposed. And so we're getting this weird kind of like green color cast in the shadows. Well, here in Adobe Camera Raw, there we go. You actually have color grading. This is the exact same like you would have in Lightroom. So I'm going to go where my shadows are and you can simply click. I'm going to drag this towards magenta just a little bit. The reason is green is the opposite of magenta on the color wheel. So if you have a little bit of green in your shadows and you want to cancel it out, simply drag your slider towards magenta and it's going to cancel it out. Now you can adjust your effect brighter or darker right here and you can use this little eyeball to turn this off or on. Simply hold that down. You can see there's a before and the after. Look at that. I can even just do the same thing with my highlights. If I want to add some color into my highlights, maybe I want to go with warm my highlights or yeah, actually I kind of like them a little bit cooler in this photo. And of course you can adjust your midtones as well. Let's go a little bit towards the orange side. And I think this is looking great. So I can go back up here to my basic adjustments, make any changes that I want. Maybe I'll just lower down my contrast a little bit, bring my shadow detail up just a little bit more and we'll bring our vibrance down. Man, this is looking awesome. So all of these same exact sliders, I can do noise reduction. Oftentimes you'll have noise in the shadows. So let's just turn this noise reduction off. There we go, and then back on. Fantastic, and I'm gonna bring my color noise reduction and look what a difference that makes. So here's before, we have a lot of like little green and magenta specks. As I bring my color noise reduction up, there we go, it takes care of a lot of that stuff. So there's our before and the after. Let's just bring up our detail just a little bit. Fantastic, so I think this looks great. Let's go ahead and hit okay here. And it applies it as a filter on this layer. Now, because we used a smart object here, check this out, I can turn this off or on at any time. So there's the before and there's the after. What a huge difference this makes on the image overall. Let's see that before and after one more time. We were able to recover so much of that detail. Now, the other great thing about this being a smart object and using a smart filter is that, check this out, right here, we have our layer, that little icon, that's our smart object icon, because that's how we started. Then we have smart filters, then we have camera raw filter. So this applies as a filter, which means I can change it at any time. Literally, all I have to do is just double click right here where it says camera raw filter, and it brings me back into Adobe camera raw with all of my settings intact. 
So if I decide, you know what, my white level should be down a little bit, maybe my highlights level will take that down even more, I can change any of this at any time. I can adjust my exposure, my tint, all of these settings can be done at any point in time. Hit OK, it simply updates the filter and you're good to go. Again, you can turn this off and on at any point in time. So that's the magic of the Adobe Camera Raw filter within Photoshop. Just be sure to set your layer as a smart object first. That's going to allow you to change this Adobe Camera Raw filter at any time. So if you ever wanted Lightroom style editing in Photoshop, well, now you have it. As always, a free way to support the channel is to give us a big like on this video. Let me know in a comment down below what you'd like to learn from Flurn. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks so much. I'll Flurn you later. Bye, everyone.